Hello, this is Writing Linear Equations, Parallel and Perpendicular Lines, Example 3. And this is Example 3. We have to determine which lines, if any, are parallel or perpendicular. Well, um, parallel lines have uh, equal slope. So we'll figure out the slopes of the lines to figure out if any of them are equal, then we would know that they're parallel. Perpendicular lines have slopes that are negative reciprocals. Negative reciprocal, um, it's, it's kind of a tricky concept. Um, I can show you some examples, I guess. Uh, if if, the, if uh, the number is negative one-half and I need a negative reciprocal, well, the negative reciprocal is going to be positive because the, si the sign switches and this flips over. So the negative reciprocal of negative one-half is two. Uh, if I had uh, two-thirds as the number and I wanted the negative reciprocal, it would be negative three-halves. <coughs> If I had a 5 and I needed the negative reciprocal, the negative reciprocal would be negative because 5 is positive, and 5 is the same thing as 5 on top of 1, so the negative reciprocal of 5 is negative 1 fifth. And those are some examples, and that's what negative reciprocal means. So uh, let's figure out some slopes here. Uh, this equation is already in uh, slope-intercept form, so we can read the slope right off of the equation. The slope is equal to 5. Now with line B, we have x plus 5y equals 2. So I have to get it into this form to figure out the slope. That's the easiest way. So um, I need y, y all alone by itself. So the first step is to subtract x from both sides. The last step is to divide both sides by 5. Now it's in slope-intercept form, and the slope is negative one-fifth. And line C is almost in uh, slope, no, it's not even close. <laughs> minus 10y minus 2x equals 0. So, um, trying to get this into y equals. I'm going to add 2x to both sides. And lastly, I'm going to um, divide both sides by negative 10. So um, I just have to reduce the two-tenths to lowest terms. And the slope of line C is negative one-fifth. So I, would, I have to find out uh, which lines, if any, are parallel or perpendicular. And now that I have the slopes, um, these two slopes are equal, so I would say uh, if they're equal, that means they're parallel. So B is parallel to C, and that's the symbol for parallel. And now these two are negative reciprocals. So line A and line B are perpendicular. and that's the symbol for perpendicular. And line A and line C are also negative reciprocals. So A is perpendicular to C.